Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl and Superman Lois. So today we're going to be doing another Q&A video because as you guys know, there is no Superman Lois on this week. So I asked you guys, did you have any questions in regards to both of the shows? Because they obviously have very big links, especially right now with Lucy Lane coming into Superman Lois. So we're going to be answering some of your questions and I picked out the best ones. If you want to be featured in any of these future videos, please be sure to go over to the community tab right now and you can comment your question, theory or idea and I'll be sure to answer it if it's good. Try and make it something new and exciting and we'll theorize about it. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so the first question is coming from Michael Spencer on YouTube. Michael Spencer asks, Why hasn't Kara revealing that she's Supergirl affected Clark and his family since it's common knowledge that Clark is Kara's cousin? So, I didn't know that it was like super common knowledge that Kara was Clark's cousin. I thought that was just their friends. However, I'm going to take it with the assumption that maybe the whole world does know or certain people do know that they are related. You know, Clark and Kara are not Supergirl and Superman because the whole world definitely knows that Superman and Supergirl are cousins. And so I like this question, Michael, because you're talking about like how the end of Supergirl ended with Kara revealing her identity, because that's always a big thing in the Arrowverse shows. When someone reveals their identity, just look at Arrow, like it was huge. It's a big deal. So this is something that most superheroes struggle with for a long time. And so with Kara finally coming out, I'm realizing she would be happier if she was both Supergirl and Kara at the same time, not like two split personalities. So she doesn't need to hide it anymore. You would think that there would be some sort of repercussion. However, as it's been made pretty clear by the Superman Lois show, it seems they are going to not acknowledge it at all. And I'm not surprised that they haven't acknowledged it considering like how many retcons there have been. We talked about those retcons in the last couple of weeks quite a lot, so I'm not going to reiterate those, but it's not a shocker that they're not continuing off of where Supergirl ended. Also, I'm pretty sure that the writers' rooms didn't like communicate anything at the same time whilst they were both on air, so I don't think there is that strong link between the two shows right now, apart from it spinning off of Supergirl. Let's move on to the next question. This comes from Emil on YouTube who asks, I would like to see Mel appear as a sort of multiversal parallel Supergirl in Sasha Kali's solo film. So Sasha Kali is going to be playing Supergirl in the DCEU for your information. So that film with Sasha Kali would probably come out around 2024 or so. It could be a big damn heroes moment where Sasha is facing defeat by one of the villains, but then another Supergirl appears just in time. So I really like this question, Emil, because it's very creative. You're thinking about like what could potentially happen if we get that Supergirl DC EU film, which we nearly 100% are going to get, especially after The Flash premieres later this year, because Sasha Calais' version of Supergirl is playing a big part in that film. I think she's arguably one of the biggest characters. She's definitely in the top three from what we've been told and what we've seen. So you would presume her film would come out sometime afterwards. Currently it's 2022 right now, so you could presume two years down the line we could get a Supergirl film. Maybe it's going to be three, who knows, but they are definitely going big on the DCEU right now. I mean, if you just look how many films are coming out, yes, the Batman isn't connected, but that starts off the year. Then we got Batgirl on HBO Max, that's DCEU. We got The Flash, Black Adam, Aquaman 2, and also Super Pets, which isn't really connected, but it just shows there is a lot of DC content coming out. But I, for one, like you, am definitely rooting for Melissa to appear as another version of Supergirl from another Earth in Sasha Kelly's film, and maybe they have a kind of no way home moment with these two versions of Supergirl, which influence each other, just like the different versions of Spider-Man influence each other. So it's super fitting if this would be like the finale where another Supergirl shows up in time to save the day. So I'm 100% rooting for this and it's a very good question, so thank you, Emil. Okay, so RCRCA asks on YouTube, do you think that if they ever did a Superman-Lewis crossover with Supergirl and Melissa was unavailable, 
that they could use a time travel scenario to bring young Kara and Alex from the Midvale episodes to the present to interact with Clark, Lois, the boys, etc. This could explain in canon why they haven't referenced Kara yet. So before I actually answer your question, I think it's very interesting and people brought this up quite a lot. People were saying, is Superman and Lois set before Supergirl? Is that why Lucy Lane is the way that she is? And that's why they're not referencing Supergirl at all because Supergirl is still in the Phantom Zone and so, you know, Clark has never met her. I would say it's very unlikely that they thought it out this much and it's just the case. I think it's more likely that they're blaming this all on Crisis. So let's go ahead and answer your question because obviously I just went on a tangent there because I don't think Superman and Lois is set before Supergirl because Diggle showed up in the show and he showed up on Supergirl at the same time and it's clear that he's in his post-Arrow era where he's working for Argus and everything. So yeah, if Superman and Lois do a crossover, I think it would be a great excuse to bring back the Supergirl kind of cast, but have the younger cast come in. So from the Midvale episodes, you have young Kara and Alex and they show up at the Kent farm and they get to meet Clark, Lois and the boys. That would be great, especially if it's like a time travel story. I don't think it would make much sense if they brought them in any other way because obviously that's way back in the past. But I definitely think this is a cool idea. That's why I bring it up. So great question. Okay, so Yasin on YouTube asks, do you think if Supergirl appears on Superman Lois, they will retcon her and give her a new suit and change her heat vision? So with all the retcons on Superman Lois, I think, you know, this is a valid question. However, if Melissa ever showed up as Supergirl, she's not going to change. She's going to be the exact same character. And that goes for most of the other characters as well who are main cast members. So if Nia shows up on Superman Lois, she's going to be Nia. She's not going to be like a retconned, completely different 180 version of the person that we knew from Supergirl. No, for the big characters, they're going to keep them the same. That's why changing Lucy Lane in such a drastic way was such a big shock to a lot of people, including myself. Because she was a big character in Season 1, and yes, she hasn't been around for a while. But imagine if they did that to one of the biggest characters on The Flash or Arrow. People would be shocked as well. So I'm going to say 100% if Melissa shows up, she's going to be the same. Same goes for the other major characters surrounding her. Could she get a new suit? Yeah, definitely. If it's been like a couple of years and she shows up and maybe she has a new suit because technically in the timeline, it would have been a couple of years and maybe, you know, she would have upgraded by then. And I don't know about a heat vision. I would say a heat vision would stay the same. I don't see it changing in any way, but I think, yeah, a new suit is possible and I really don't think they're going to wreck on her at all if she shows up again. And obviously that's a big if right now. But Melissa has said in the past, well, when Supergirl was ending, that she would like to return. But, you know, the timing has to be right, I guess. So let's move on to the next question. This comes from Glenn on YouTube who asks, Do you think Supergirl will come back in Superman and Lois? I think it would be fun seeing how the Lex Luthor in the Supergirl timeline is officially defeated. Now the only thing left to do is defeat the Lex Luthor of the Superman and Lois timeline. So I like how you bring up Lex. And obviously I answered, do I think Supergirl will come to Superman and Lois? I think, yeah, at some point, if Melissa wants to, they're definitely going to ask her, but it's really dependent on her. So I'm not confirming 100% she, she's showing up, but I like how you link the Lex from Supergirl to Superman and Lois and how maybe they're two different versions of Lex. I'm going to stick with the theory that Lex that we know from Supergirl played by John Cryer, is the exact same Lex that Superman and Lois will have. If Lex ever returns, I think it's going to be John Cryer. I don't think they're going to do a big 180 on his character as well. I think he'll be exactly the same. So I really do think they're similar, but I get why people would say, oh, maybe they are two different versions because you're having all these different characters who are being retconned and changed on Superman and Lois that maybe someone like Lex could be retconned. But that about does it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy road.